The Philippine and U.S. Coast Guards will further strengthen their relations and cooperation in search and rescue efforts to further boost both countries' capabilities to respond to maritime emergencies. On the part of the personnel, this is a chance to bond and exchange ideas with fellow Coast Guards. Patrick De Jesus has more. The 757 midget cutter ship of the U.S. Coast Guard is currently docked at Port 13 in Manila. Gracing the arrival of the ship earlier was U.S. Ambassador to the Philippines, Mary Kay Los Carlson. The U.S. CG cutter will participate in a joint search and rescue exercise with the Philippine Coast Guard this Saturday. PCG assets, BRP Gabriela Silang, BRP Malabrigo, BRP Boracay, and its Aviation Force helicopter will join the said exercise. More than 200 crew will be part of the Joint SAR exercise on the part of the U.S. Coast Guard and more than 100 from PCG. Aside from the warm relationship between the two countries, Carlson pointed out how the joint maritime drill will be beneficial for both Coast Guard forces. This has been done for three times. Due to climate change in our archipelagic nature, our country is prone to maritime accidents. Thus, we are striving in making efforts to minimize the loss of lives at sea and to prevent sea missions. And at the end of these engagements, we're looking forward to becoming better and stronger together by working as partners to ensure that a rules-based international order is in place to support maritime governance, to support security, to prevent illicit activities from happening within the waters here. We are continuously inspired by the scope and depth of our relationship with the Philippine Coast Guard. And we know that many exciting opportunities lie ahead. Some of the activities to be undertaken are communication exercises, maneuvering, technical demonstration, flight operations, and small boat operations. Two areas are being considered where to conduct the joint SAR exercise, either within the vicinity of Lubang Island in Mindoro or part of the West Philippine Sea near Sambales. Despite the inclusion of the West Philippine Sea, the PCG said there is not Nothing to worry about, as this kind of joint exercises is normal. The Philippines have done the same with other countries including China, Japan, and Indonesia. Dapat gawin ito sa high seas para talagang makatotohanan yung ginagawang exercise. Tandaan natin, we are a maritime country. Marami tayong aksidenting nangyayari sa karagatan. At ang pinoprotektahan natin dito yung mga kapakanan ng mga fishermen. There's nothing to worry about this exercise because this is search and rescue. Uh, this is a humanitarian uh, job of the Coast, humanitarian function of the Coast Guard at wala tayong pinag-uusapang sigalot dito. Aside from the Joint SAR exercise, the USCG will also have a fellowship with PCG members and Brigada Escuela in a school in Manila during their stay in the country. Patrick De Asus, For The Nation.